In this lesson, we're going to look at dividing integers. Um, so the four scenarios we have um, are a positive divided by a positive is going to equal a positive. A positive divided by a negative is going to equal a negative. A negative divided by a positive is going to equal a negative. And a negative divided by a negative will equal a positive. So the nice thing here is the rules for division are exactly the same as rules for multiplication in that whenever you have two numbers of different signs involved you will get a negative answer and whenever the signs are the same you'll get a positive answer. And uh, the reasoning for why these rules are what they are uses very similar reasoning to um, the explanation that I gave in the multiplication video. Um, so I'm not going to go through these in detail here um, but the explanations are very similar. So let's take a look at this example. We've got negative 63 divided by negative 7. So which of those scenarios are we in? Well, of course, we're in the fourth scenario here. We have a negative divided by a negative. So I understand the answer will be positive. And then 63 divided by 7, we should know off the top of our heads because that's uh, one of our division facts that we need to have memorized. So the answer there is positive 9. This example here, we need to be careful. Whenever you see those absolute value bars, be very careful. You always need to actually take the absolute value before you try and decide what the sign of your answer is going to be. So the first thing we'll do is we'll note that the absolute value of negative 45 is 45. We'll rewrite this problem here, 45 divided by negative 9. And so now we can see, okay, we're in this scenario, a positive divided by a negative. And of course the answer should be negative, and 45 divided by 9 is 5, so our answer is negative 5. And then lastly we'll get to this one. We're clearly in the third scenario of a negative divided by a positive. And so we know the answer is negative. The only thing we need to do is figure out how many times 14 goes into 70. And remember your strategy here. Make 14 a number that's close to it but easier to think about. 15 is easier to think about. Um, and if you think of 15, you could think of 15 minutes in an hour. And there are four of those 15-minute uh, increments in an hour. So it definitely goes in at least four times because that would get you to 60. Um, 15 doesn't quite fit into 70 a fifth time, however, 14 is smaller than 15. So I, I think that actually 5 is a decent guess, and in fact 5 times 4 is 20, carry the 2, 5 times 1 plus 2 is 7, and so uh, it turns out that the answer is negative 5. 